Right, quite a few of today's papers have reported the findings of a recent study carried out by Chicago University into how loneliness actually affects people's health. It concludes that being cut off from friends and family, as people increasingly are in today's modern world, can lead to detrimental effects as bad as those caused by smoking and obesity. Basically, being lonely can apparently raise the blood pressure and weaken the immune system. Well, I have to say I'm a bit of a contradiction because I like my own space. But then again, I am lonely. And um, I'm not saying that for any sympathy because I don't feel sorry for myself. You won't anything. get any here. No. no. <laughs> but, you know, um, I think, I don't know how many of you live on your own, but you know when you're very aware of your own presence, you know, that there's just you. Do you know what I mean by mm. that? And the, the sound echoes in your house of just you. Well, I think. I used to like that. Did you? Well, yeah. I think that's, uh, that's a loneliness that I think is, I mean, of course, I miss being so. hugged, but I miss being hugged. I miss that, you know, that love from a man. I, lo I miss the arms around you, and, and I miss going home and saying, do you know what's happened today? I've had the worst, you know, somebody to, to spill so everything out to. With. And when you've only got yourself to share with and your own self to argue with, it gets a little bit boring. But your life you know? isn't lonely. Your life isn't lonely. My life, you've got no, lots of your family and you've got yeah. lots of friends. And, My Keely is wonderful because she keeps me, yeah. she makes sure that I'm not lonely. You're just but lonely in love. But you have to shut the door and then you have to live inside that, don't you? And sometimes I think, I just would love somebody. But don't you think to, that's the key, Sherry? Me. Isn't that the key? Is that if you are quite content with yourself and who you are, yeah. I think <clears throat> you're less vulnerable to being lonely and, yeah. you, and more capable of making, making the most of being alone. I do. I mean, I think I, I, so, the loneliest I've ever been would probably be in, a, in an unhappy relationship because yes. you're, you're with someone, but, he, but you're feeling very isolated. Whereas when I actually went on to then live on my own, as I became sort of more content and more self confident and everything, I quite enjoyed having my own space and autonomy over my own world. Oh, no, I feel I, I like my own space and I enjoy my own time on my own. But of course, I mean, I would be a fool to say that I never get lonely. That would be that would be a lie for a start. You want to be ravished? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The is a fool. Well, it's true, though, <laughs> Sherry. When I, I was alone. For a long, long time, I had no problem with that. I actually quite liked it and really enjoyed being single. It was a brilliant thing. And, and I, you know, I'm glad I'm not now, but I was happy being single. And I was never lonely. I've never really experienced proper loneliness. You know what I mean? But yes. the only thing that, you know, that I used to miss and the only thing that I thought, oh, God, if I die and I don't get that again, I'm really going to die unhappy. And that was, you know, that was proper passion rubbish. and being rubbish. Yeah. <laughs> it was. And it used to worry me a little bit. But now I've got it. But... You know, lonely. Now you've got it, you're worn out, and you're like a bit peace. She wanted to go away. Oh, I could do with a night off. <laughs> no, not really. See, I could do with a night in. <laughs> There's a massive difference between being alone and being lonely. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I, I'm very lucky that the women in our family, like my grandmother, my mother, and myself, we, we've all been very content with our own company. And um, I, I don't mind being alone. I felt more lonely, like you, Jackie, when mm. I was in a marriage that yeah. I was unhappy, because that's when you hear the loneliness, when you can't speak to each other, when there's an atmosphere. That, I think, is worse mm. than actually having your own loneliness. Because Especially if they've isolated you yes. from yeah. all your friends as well, which has happened to some of us. No, I can mm. understand, because I always thought, you know, before you met Ed, and he's a love of your life now, but you were so strong mm. and so content so rebellious. <laughs> so I'm never getting married again. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, suppose I was. I did. I did. Change your mind. Yeah, I did change my mind. But a lot of people think, you know, because I, I live with my mother. I don't know if anybody knows that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, and and she's. <clears throat> I mean, she she's, she's likes her own space, I like my own space, yeah. but we've just got each other there as well. Mm. And, and we're, although we're, we're very... I'm away four days a week, well, five now, because I'm on tour as well, but it's, it, she likes her own space, but she's got me coming home. But knowing someone, knowing, knowing someone is there, wherever yeah. they are, is, you know, an antidote to loneliness, really. If, mm. you're, if you're totally on your own in the whole world and you've got nobody, that's when you're going to be lonely, because you've either got no friends, you've got no family, or, mm. you know, that's proper loneliness. Loneliness. I and know. you don't have that. What I could do what? is move in with Keely and Simon now. <laughs> That's a good oh. idea. Oh, I've got a vision of a ring being flung across the room. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, we'll be back after this short.